Greetings everybody, it's your old pal Frank here and TGIF. Happy Friday everybody. And yeah, I know it's weird. I'm doing a video on a Friday, two videos in one week. What's up with that, right? Well, to be honest with you, I just got back from my LCS. I got a whole bunch of random stuff and I decided, you know what? Let's do a video showing everyone what I got. So we're going to kick off this video with uh, a couple of uh, random goalie packs. These, uh, the, these are in boxes at the cash. These are uh, three for five bucks or two fifty a piece. So um, let's, let's see what cards we got. So in the very first pack here, we have Tom Barrasso, NHL second team all-star that's uh was that tops or opg premium a uh, premiere tops premiere 93 tops premiere uh we got dan cloutier 2003 bowman uh we got tommy sallow some uh ice oh that's nice 1011 Panini Contenders, Henrik Lundqvist. Oh, that's getting sleeved right now. In fact, let's put that sucker in a top loader. That's nice. I, I love Panini Contenders hockey. I know everyone goes nuts for Panini Contenders football. Myself, I love Panini Contenders hockey. So anytime I get Panini Contenders and like, uh, you know, the repacks from from Dollarama and whatnot, I always put them aside to low key. Hope one day I could put the set together or something. So, yeah, very cool. Uh, then we got a rookie update of JS Jaguar. Very nice. We got Rick DiPietro. We got Craig Anderson. Some OPG, I believe that's what, Coast to Coast. These were the Canadian Tire cards. I, I missed out on these when they came out just because I could never get them because people were like buying the cards by the case. <laughs> but anytime I can get my hands on one of them, again, in a re repack or something, it's awesome. So we got that. And then we got a Greats of the Game from 2002 Fleer. Uh, I've said it a bunch of times. I love the look of these cards. Uh, I have the Terry Sawchuk and Mike Leute from this set. And now we got John Davidson. Very, very cool. I, I was looking on COMC and um, I found out that from Fleer, uh, they did a greats of the game for baseball as well. And I think they did either football or basketball. I'm not sure on which one. And again, they, they all look so nice to me. I mean, to some, these cards may look super basic, uh, but to me, I I love them. They're so nice. So, oh, sorry, 2001 Fleer, not 2002. But, uh, yeah, very, very cool. So, that's another one for my set. I'm now up to a grand total of three. Yay! <laughs> All right, next pack. This up here. We kick things off with another Opeechee, coast to coast. This time we got Cam Talbot. Then we have Roman Turek. I always liked uh, Roman Turek's goalie mask. Because as you can see there, that's Eddie from Iron Maiden. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, then we got a rookie update, uh, Brian Boucher. Oh, these are nice. Uh, these are from the Opeechee 25th Anniversary set. And how I know it's the 25th anniversary? Well, if you hold these cards up to the light the right way, boom, 25th. <laughs> but 
but it's also cool because it's Tony O. So I I have this whole set, by the way. I I believe I did a video way back showing showing it off. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, then we got Mika Noronen, some more ice. Uh, we got some more. 03 Bowman. This time we got Nikolai Habibulin. Uh, here we got uh, was that Leaf Limited, uh, Eric Fischow of the New York Islanders when they were using the Mariner logo, or as I like to call it, the uh, Captain Highliner logo. <laughs> you all know who Captain Highliner is, right? The the fish sticks. The, Anyway, uh, <laughs> and we got another 2001 Fleer Greats of the Game. Uh, probably one of the most feared goalies to ever play the game of hockey, uh, Mr. Billy Smith. Uh, this guy, man, uh, <laughs> you you did not want to get on the wrong end of this, this guy's uh, goalie stick, I tell you what. Because if you did, you'd be getting the butt of it right in the ribs, or the gut, or wherever it would hurt. <laughs> He he did not care, but uh, yeah, awesome Billy Smith man, sweet. And I have yep, I got one more here, and we kick off this pack with a card for the PC. It's uh, what what year is that? Ninety ninety one upper deck, Vezina Trophy winner card. It's Patrick Waugh. Yes, sir. St. Patrick himself. So, yep, that's going in the Patrick Waugh PC. Very cool. Then we got another Dan Cloutier card, this time from, was that, 2002 Vanguard? That's super shiny and super thick, too. It's a really, really thick card stock. These are really, really nice. I, I believe uh, Ziri opened some of this on his channel a while back or he was saying he wants to open some I, I I forget but these are really really nice uh we got a rookie update uh Marty Biro very nice uh I was I was at the game that possibly was his last uh he got injured here in Montreal and um yeah it was when he was playing with the New York Rangers so, funny story about Marty Bureau. Nice guy, though. Uh, I, I, I met him, like, obviously months before that incident happened. And he signed, um, he signed a, a, an Opeachy card for me. I still have it somewhere. And uh, really, really, really nice guy. So, yeah. No, no hard feelings to Marty Bureau injuring himself here in Montreal. And possibly that being his very last game uh here we got marty turco some uh 2004 crown royal very nice i i again i i dig the die cut cards these are really nice uh then we got 2003 titanium we got yon hedberg here very cool uh we got some more bowman actually we got a double here again nikolai abibulin Oh, heck yeah. 2003 Atomic. Uh, die cut goodness. Here we got Evgeny Nabokov, the San Jose Sharks. Uh, I recently pulled uh, an Arturs Urbe Carolina Hurricanes card from this set, I believe. Or actually, no, I think I pulled uh, the one from the 2002 set. But still, I love these Atomic cards. They're so, so nice. And then we finish off this pack with probably one of the greatest, if not greatest, goalie to ever play the game of hockey, Mr. Goalie himself, Glenn Frickin' Hall. Hell yeah. Uh, still to this day, holds a record that will never, I repeat, never be broken by any goalie. What record is that? 502 consecutive games played. Actually, does it say it on here? 
No, it doesn't. But still, 502 consecutive games played. Yeah, that is that is a, a record that is never going to be broken. Friggin' A, man. And also, my dad's all-time favorite hockey player. <laughs> That's awesome. So, we got some goalie packs out of the way. Uh, next, uh, I got I got a couple uh, singles cards out of one of the bins. So I got a couple of these uh, 25 under 25. We got Braden Point and uh, Matthew Barzal. Uh, I needed these for my for my set. These are from uh, 1819 uh, Series One, so was happy to get these. And then this, I just had to get it. It's from uh, In the Game. Uh, I love, you know, In the Game, Between the Pipes, all that stuff. And this is a uh, 1972, the year in hockey. It's uh, it's part of the Masked Men subset. And <laughs> It's just hilarious. It's Ken Brown, and <laughs> take a look at that goalie mask. <laughs> Is that something else or what? <laughs> How intimidating, right? <laughs> oh yeah, I saw this. I was like, oh, I gotta get that. So let's let's put that right up next to old Henrik there. Uh, next, I got a card for my uh, Martin Brodeur PC. And it's from, what year is this? 1415 SPA. It's Marty Brodeur when he was playing with St. Louis towards the end of his career. And I saw this in the display case and I, I told him, like, I want this right away because uh, I could find tons of Brodeur stuff with New Jersey, but with St. Louis, I don't see a lot of his stuff, so uh, when I saw this in there, I was like, yeah, I'm going to take that. And no, I did not pay 10 bucks for this card. Uh, they actually uh, told me 5 so I was like, hell yeah. So we got that. Next, I got a rookie card that I've been wanting for some time. And uh, the last time I was at my shop, I saw it in the binder. I didn't pick it up, but I told myself the next time I go in, if that card is still in the binder, I am going to be getting it, and I am going to be sending this card to PSA whenever, because I find this is a worthy grading uh, contender, and it's none other than Henrik Lundqvist's Parkhurst rookie card. Uh, I know he's pretty much getting near the near the end of his career as much as we we hate to take that in but uh i figured you know this is a this is a heck of a rookie card to have this is from uh yeah 0506 and um yeah when i when i get my um when i get my signed richard petty card back from psa uh i'm probably going to send this off Possibly with uh, one of my Broder rookie cards and probably something else. I'll send like three or four cards just just to make it worth my wild. So that's pretty cool. Let's, uh, well, let's just put that there. Uh, next, I got something vintage. It's my very first uh, CFL football card. And I figured if I'm going to get my very first CFL card, make it interesting so not only is it my very first CFL card it's also my very first Montreal Alouettes card uh, this is from 1960 tops and it is a uh, Verrill Switzer Montreal Alouettes card I saw this in a in a binder it was it was in the back of a binder with a bunch of like early 70s uh, NFL and CFL cards and uh, I was like, yeah, I want to get that. That's awesome. So so I got my very first CFL card to, to put in the very, very limited section of football in my collection. <laughs> and then we finish things off with 
a couple of mystery packs. Each pack has five packs, and uh, I, I figured I'd pick up the last two they had at, at the counter and uh, see if we could pull anything interesting. Uh, as you can see, there in the middle, that's 1990 score. We got two packs of them, so that is two chances at pulling a pack fresh Martin Broder rookie card. So uh, let's get to it. All right. So we got MVP 1718 Series 1. Uh, apparently, uh, the store owner was telling me. A guy was in a couple days ago, and he pulled an Austin Matthews rookie card, a uh, young gun. So I was like, oh, damn. Uh, okay, we got, oh, that's 1991 score. Okay. Oh, whatever. Uh, oh, we got some SP. Sweet. And then we got 1920 Upper Deck Series 2. Uh, uh, no random order. I'm just going to open them as is. Let's see what we get here. So in our first pack, Ryan Dzingle, Valtteri Filpula, Matt Martin, Cody Cece, Alexander Edler, Josh Manson, Zach Cassian, Timo Meyer. We got a dud pack. Oh well. All right, let's put these here. Ooh, SP retail. I haven't opened any of this yet, so this is pretty cool. Ooh, these are also very hard to open. Ooh, I want to be careful here. All right, what do we got? Bo Horvat, Sidney Crosby, blue. We got a Nicholas Haig SP Rookie Authentic. We got a Brad Marchand Authentic Profiles. And we got Braden Shen. Alrighty. Next, 1991 score. Let's see what we get in here, huh? Oof. Oh yeah, these are the blue car. Okay, got Scott Young, Mike Ridley, Brad Shaw, Joe Mantha, Troy Gamble, Kelly Bookberger, David Malley, Gordy Roberts, Dennis Vile, Frank P uh, Petrangelo, Sean Chambers, Mark Habsheed, Doug Smale. Brad Jones and Peter Ng. All right. All right. 17, 18, Upper Deck Series 1. Let's see what we get in here. Imagine. Imagine pulling an Austin Matthews Young Gun. That'd be something. Uh, I think we have a Young Gun. I'm not sure. Okay, we got Ivan Provorov, Jacob Markstrom, uh, we got the series checklist, uh, cards 101 to 200, TJ Brody, and, well, it's not, uh, that's not uh, Austin Matthews, it's Ian McCoshin. All right, hey. At least we pulled a young gun, right? That's pretty interesting. And then we have uh, 1920 MVP. Let's see what we got in here. Let's see. Alright, we have Nick Ritchie, Wayne Simmons. Mackenzie McEachern, rookie. 
Ryan McDonough, and Josh Morrissey. All right. So that's that mystery pack. At least we pulled a young gun out of it. That was pretty cool. Uh, let's let's open this one. Let's see what we get. We'll do things in the same same exact order here. Going with the 1920 Upper Deck Series 2 first. All right, we have Ryan Hartman, Nicholas Backstrom. Sammy Vantanen, Andrew Shaw, we got a marquee rookie of Jacob Lelia, we got Sergei Bobrovsky, Calvin DeHaan, and Ryan Johansson, alright, next, SP, I know you can get autographs in these packs. Autographs, memorabilia, etc., etc. I don't think I'm going to be that lucky, though. Let's see. We got Ricard Raquel, Andre Vasilevsky, Steven Stamkos, blue, uh, SP Rookie Authentics of Taro Hirose, and Austin Matthews. I told you, not that lucky. <laughs> Alright, we got another 91 score. Let's see what we got in here. Steve Chason, Doug Bodker, JJ Deneau, Brian Scrudlin, nice couple Habs there. Greg Brown, Mark Burrow, ooh, Dale Howarchuk, very nice. Craig Janney, Randy Valishek. Ooh, Pat LaFontaine, very nice. Brad Jones, Peter Ng, Steve Smith, Jimmy Waite, and Rob Zettler. All right, I'm happy. We got a Pat LaFontaine in there. That's nice. All right, Series 1, 1718. Let's see if we get another young gun. All right, ooh, nope. We got something shiny, though. We got Brandon Dubinsky. Jiggity Jake Gensel. We got a Shining Stars of P.K. Subban. Mitch Marner. And Braden Holtby. All right. And finally, another MVP pack. Let's see what we get in here. Probably nothing special, but whatever. All right, Ryan Johansson, Evander Kane. Oh, we got a Laser Shots, Patrick Kane, P.K. Subban, and Sam Reinhart. There you go, folks. There's a bunch of stuff I picked up to kick off my weekend. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give her a thumbs up. If not, give her a thumbs down. And most importantly, folks, before leaving, like, comment, and subscribe. And as I say at the end of every video, folks, keep collecting what you enjoy collecting, and I will see you all in the next one. Most likely... Monday, yeah. <laughs> all right, folks, have a great weekend. I'll see you Monday. Laters.